So hi everybody, uh, Sarah here. And what I'm going to teach you today is how do you create a VIP group or community? This is going to be very integral to your business, um, especially on social media, because what it does for you is it gives a place for you to have more than one interaction with the people that you meet in society, on your friend list, and you can really build a community of people that support each other. Now, this is really recommended to have because then you're able to show a side of you that is going to build relationships and continue to build relationships within your Tupperware business. I use mine the same as I would our studio page, but what I like about it is it's a private group so you can be more personal. One of the posts that I'm going to do tomorrow is about date night. And I'm going to ask them, how do they, how do they do date night right now? Because weekly, Rich and I would go out on a Friday or Saturday and we would go out on a date. Well, we can't go out right now. And if you're watching this on the replay, whenever you're watching it, hopefully we're able to, but if it's in real time with COVID and the recommendations to stay home, it's just not possible. So I want them to have a safe place to feel that they really can connect with me. So I want to show you how to make one. I'm going to share my screen and hopefully this works on Facebook. Oh good, you can see me. Okay, so the first step to creating your Facebook community, group, whatever, is you're going to go up here to your newsfeed you can see up here the word create, and you wanna create it as a group. Now, the key thing anytime you have a group, just like we coach our hosts, is you don't just add people to it, you want to invite them to come to your group. So I'm going to name it, um, for the sake of this training, I'm going to name it Sarah's VIP group, just so I know it's different than my personal VIP group that I already have. You don't have to add anybody to this right now. Um, I wouldn't. I would build it first and then do it. You want to set it as private because if it's private, people can feel like it's a safe place, it's a safe community. If it's public, there's really no reason for them to join it because anybody can see the posts anytime. So you want to make it private. You do want to make it visible because that means people can find it. If you make it hidden, that means only the people in the group can know where it is and find it. So again, make it visible. If you don't have um, 10 things in your shortcuts, you can pin it to shortcuts. So see if I have 10 there. Cool. Don't. So now you can see that I was able to pin my VIP group right here to shortcuts. So it's gonna make it easy for me to find, okay? Now, some setup. You're going to wanna upload a picture. It could be a picture of yourself. It could be a picture of a product. It could be a picture of, um, it could be a picture of just nothing. So let's find a good picture that would be great to share. So I love the colors in this picture. So I'm going to just choose that one just because it's different. And you're going to upload it. You can reposition it any way you want. So I want to have it be a little bit of the carrots and a little bit of the broccoli. So I'm going to hit save. And then when I go to refresh, this screen, you can see that that picture shows up right there, okay? So then what I do is I add a description. And the description should be the reason for the group. That's always helpful. In my Facebook parties, I have it be what the party date and time is going to be. So this is my our space to learn and share ideas to make our lives easier. Okay, so I hit save. The cool thing is, 
it, as soon as you refresh it, it's going to be right here too. What you can do is you can take that, whatever that description is, you can edit the photo that you put in and put your description there so it's together. Then you can delete that post. It keeps the description still here, but it cleans up the space because people are going to notice pictures more than text anyway. If you want this post to always stay near the top, you're going to make it an announcement. And then whatever post that you do after it, this is always going to be the first one that they see. Okay, so it's, it's handy if you have something you want to make sure that people always see. Now you can create a photo album. I could take and put in there, let's see here. Find the right photo album. We are doing mid March right now. So I could go in and put all of the pages of the mid March flyer as an album so that they can see it. Of course, removing things that they can no longer buy. And anytime you make a photo album, you can actually just move around things so it makes more sense to what happens. And then you post it. And now that photo album is in that VIP group. So you have that going. Now, one thing that's really nice is for those of you with a paid website or the one that includes Zoom is you can actually add touch social to it. The way you do that is you go over here to more and you're going to want to edit the group settings. Now what I love is you can add locations. So I could add that I'm in Crystal, Minnesota. So now anybody who's searching in Crystal, Minnesota might stumble upon my group. I could put tags here so that way people can learn about what they might want. So like I, my ideal person, so thinking about who your ideal person is that you want to market to is key for figuring out the tag. So for me, I love the idea of having people be moms that I work with. But I am a mom. Um, in particular, another ideal client for me is going to be um, a mom of teenagers or people who are soon to go off to college. That's the, that's the demographic I'm in right now. It doesn't mean I'm not going to work with millennials or baby boomers or anything like that. It's just who I'm hoping to attract because the people, if you are focusing on that, you're very specific with the type of person you want to attract. I want to attract moms who want to cook, who want it to be fast, want it to be healthy, they're busy, they're trying to be all the things to all the people. They probably like wine. They probably like coffee. You can relate to them. It's easy to talk to them. So I'm going to put mom and see if there's any tags here that would work for that. You don't have to do tags. It's just another option. To hook up your top social, though, you do need to add the app. And it takes a little bit for it to load. A lot of it to load. All it's loading. So in here, you're going to put top social. And it is all one word, so make sure that you do it that way. And you're going to click on there that you do want them to be there. So it just allows the app to be able to post inside the group. You're going to add that. Done. And then some other things that I would recommend is you can customize the address. Right now, if I were to send you my, my, my group, it would be a bunch of these numbers, but that's kind of hard for people to see. So I can customize it to um, Sarah VIP. Well, it's already been taken. So I might do some numbers after it. Or um, Sarah, the VIP. 
So I have that one. Have to be Tupperware. Actually, you're not supposed to use Tupperware. In it. So let's see. It says. It's a VIP. And that one isn't taken. So I would use that as my customized address. You're not supposed to use tup, Tupper or anything like that. This is a heads up. It's part of social media guides. And then when you go to refresh this page, you can see it's still being edited. It does take a little bit of time for it to be approved. All right, so from there, you get to membership approval. I would highly recommend if you're doing a VIP group that only the admins and moderators can approve who enters your group. Um, that way you have control over who's in there. And that's something that's really important in building a community. You can have people answer questions. Like if you join the Force to Be group, it asks you what directors you belong to or your business leader. You can do that as well. Um, I don't want pages to join. I want real people to join, and this is why. On our studio page, Christina and Cindy are both moderators. If I join something as a page, they could technically go into any of those groups and see what I did as a page. I don't want that. I want to just leave one person that's able to join the group. So don't allow pages. Uh, posting permissions, that's going to be up to you. If you have admins only, that means only you could be the one posting. If you want other people to share their recipes, their pictures, how they're using their Tupperware, then you can put anyone in the group. My philosophy is, in this style, anybody in the group can post. If you want to have post approval, you can always click that box, and then nothing that they post is actually shown until you say it's okay. I would only do this in a VIP group. Um, I don't have that setting clicked in our company group because um, there's no reason for it at this time. So I hit save and now everything should be there. All right, so now I have my VIP group. I got this started. How do you add Tub Social? So let's see. We're gonna go to my.tubware.com. And we're going to log in. Oh, goodness, sure, that's good. So you guys can see. All right, so now we're going to click on the word top social. It's going to open up yet another window for us. And what you need to do is you need to go over here to your settings. Once you get to your settings, you need to connect a new group. So I actually, we are no longer have the Infinite China Love Tupperware Public Group. So I'm just connecting that from this service. The reason why is we do everything in the studio page and it's uh, one less group for me to manage. So to connect a new group, these are all the groups that I have. You can see I have a ton of groups. And what that does is um, any group that you create is going to show up here. So if you want to run your Facebook parties through here, this is one way you could do it. I use SinShare only because it's something that I used before Club Social existed. So hit connect. And now my VIP group this is the one that we are working with together, is right here, okay? So now you can go into the post creator and you can create your own post here so that it's ready to go. Remember, you want to do five different types of posts. You want to do ones that do with your why, personal insight, encouragement, about me, benefits, and showcasing your product. Let me find the notes. So this, this actually comes from the training that happened last week on how to explode your business on social media. And let me find those notes real quick. 
these are the five recommended styles of posts. Fun, connection, inspiration, business, and different resources. If you do one of those posts once a week, you will have amazing success in your VIP group. Again, it's fun, connection, inspiration, business, and different resources. What's great about doing it that way is you can show off your Tupperware. It's that posting with a purpose that we talked about on Spring Fest. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to send me a message and I will send you the video that pertains to that. And the thing to know about it is it, if you set it up that way, so one post is gonna be for fun, one post is gonna be for connection, one post is gonna be inspiration, one post is gonna be business, and one post is gonna be different resources, you cannot be salesy. Because what will happen is you will not show the prices, you'll just be sharing information. You're gonna be providing an outlet for people so that they can see a window of your life. Um, those are the kinds of things that build that community. Those are the things that people want to come back for more. So for tomorrow, I, I'm going to be posting that date night picture. And I'm going to put on my newsfeed, hey, Serbies VIB, I have a very important question that I would love your help in. Please check out my group. I don't like doing cryptic things on my newsfeed, but sometimes it's helpful to draw more people to the group. Okay? Secondly, after you have that group figured out and you have your five posts, you can use Tup Social to schedule those posts. So if I want to have something be funny, you can use the lifestyle section down here to help figure that out. There are many different things that are right here to help you with that. Inspirational quotes are so popular and people love them and to comment on them. If you're not learning every day, you need to find a better way to spend your day. That sounds like something that would be good to use or stop being scared of making mistakes, learn from them and move towards your goals. What you can do is you can do a post, what goal are you moving towards today? I would look for the VIP group that we just set up and I'll schedule that post for tomorrow and it's going to be at 11 a.m. and you hit schedule now. And that's it, that is it. That's all how hard it is. The another thing that you can do in the content planner is if you're not sure what to post, Tupperware does have this set up your week option. I tend to not use it very often because I don't want to have it accidentally be the same content that somebody else does. They say that it's not, but I'd rather set up my own because I want to sound like it's coming from me, not coming from Tupperware. But if you're struggling with what to write, this is an option for you too. So these are how you set up a VIP group, some things to post. Now, how do you invite people to it? This is how you would invite somebody to it. You would go into your Facebook, and you would start a message. This is where you go. It could be to anybody that is that you would really love, that person that you want to work with, that you want to shop with. You start a message with them saying, I was thinking about you. How are you doing today? And you start a conversation. You can post on your newsfeed. I'll be honest, you're not going to get very much traction. If you say, hey, I created a VIP group, please add, let me know if you wanna be added. I personally don't have consultants in my group unless they were a customer of mine prior to joining. That's a personal preference. Um, it's up to you how you have your VIP group. The whole point of the VIP group is to build community and for people to always remember who you are. If you focus on those five different types of posts, fun, connection, inspiration, business, and different resources. You will have people interacting with you. You will have people remembering you. And when they need, when they need your services, they will know that you are those top really. So I hope you have found this training helpful. Please let me know if there's anything that I missed. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts on it.